Colin, which animal? We have two left. Which one do you want? I want this one. Can you sign that for me? Lion. Good job. Move it over. Oh, I love the deaf kids and the deaf people, the deaf culture. Are we ready? What is this? A boat. It doesn't matter whether they're high schoolers or they're preschoolers that I have now. They're very special. They have a language of their own. Uh, that is beautiful. We have three choices of things you can do. One of them is to color. Over there we have Noah that begins with an N. It started out being for children who are deaf or hard of hearing, and then they've opened it up to kiddos who may have deaf parents. Other children do have communication disorders, language delays, and we also have typically developing children because that's always important to have those as language models for our deaf kiddos. If we can teach them how to sign and give them a language and they can have other children they can communicate with, they feel more comfortable with their peers, uh, then the language develops and blossoms. Colin, can you find another M? Show your friends. Look at that. M. M says what? Mmm, mm, good job. M for monkey and M for mom and for you. Life Senior Services is a nonprofit agency in Tulsa. And we provide a very broad array of services to both seniors and their families. Most of our caregivers do work and they don't want to leave their loved one home alone, so they will bring them to our adult daycare facility, know that they are in a safe place and that they are being very well cared for. We adopted Annie two years ago. We didn't actually know that she was deaf when we adopted her. Renee is amazing. She really gave Annie a voice when Annie couldn't, you know, always have one for herself. When she is here, she is here and present, and she knows everything about every single child. I'm sure if she didn't know that Carmelita was taken care of, that that would interfere in her work. I can now come to school at Happy Hands and take care of the kids and work and teach and enjoy myself knowing that she's taken care of. Let's go to the hospital. That one woman worked there. She volunteered there. We do it at the end one and say one, two, three, that and do this prayer. Now she got me out there doing it. We both do it every time. Mm -hmm. Do the hop. All right. Woo! <laughs> I'm that whole bunch of friends there. They always holler at me when I tell me, well, you don't be bad. Down go around every morning, say hi to the people that I know that. <laughs> morning. Yeah. And they all say hi to me. The folks who come to our adult daycare facilities spend more time with each other than they do necessarily with their own family because they're there maybe eight hours a day and they in some cases come five days a week. And so they really become very close. Folks refer to other people as their BFF. Since going to life, Carmelita has come more than to her own. She tells us about her day there and what goes on and what people are doing. So it's made a big change. She real funny to me and her shut up too. <laughs> uh -huh. She said, boy, you're the life of the party here. You teach everybody life and Cutting and have fun. <laughs> we tend to get very isolated as we get older and it's easy to start to withdraw and to keep people moving and talking and dancing just keeps their mind more alert, their body more coordinated and if they didn't participate in activities and they just napped all day, they probably would go in, in a different direction. To the left. To the right. Way up high. Hide them. We're really proud that we're able to enrich the lives of our seniors. We're also proud to help their caregivers gain so much of their lives back. Call the doctor in the dark. No more monkeys jumping on the bed.